There is a global shift happening in technology, and what the Chinese just built has the power to not only change how the world uses satellites, it could become one of the biggest geopolitical stories of the century. Last month, during the 12-day Israel-Iran war, the Iranian government made a power move that no one saw coming. It disabled the United States GPS system across the country and switched to China's GPS equivalent called Beidou. Not many people know that GPS, the de facto navigation system used by the entire world, is actually controlled by the US military. And as a result, this gives the US government a tremendous amount of power. And in the case of war, it can help certain American allies while also hurting whoever the US government deems an adversary. Iran's decision to turn off GPS and switch to China's new system sends a powerful geopolitical reminder to the world. Be careful whose systems you use, but most importantly, don't forget there is more than one superpower inventing advanced technology. Over the past three decades, China has quietly built a massive next-generation satellite system, breaking US dependence as its Beidou system is now active in over 140 countries. This exodus from GPS is just the latest in a broader global trend of de-risking from the United States. Just as the freezing of $300 billion in Russian assets sent shockwaves through countries holding US dollars, the weaponization of GPS has become a wake-up call for any nation that relies on it. And just like BRICS is leading the way towards dollar alternatives, China is leading the shift towards a new satellite future. China's rise in space is just the reflection of the broader shift happening right now here on Earth. And it's exactly what we're breaking down in today's video. But first, I wanna quickly show you something that has completely transformed the way I work and honestly made my life a lot easier. As a geopolitical YouTuber, I'm constantly reading articles, interviewing guests, and scribbling down notes to stay organized and make sure that I bring you the most accurate and insightful videos possible. The truth is, it's overwhelming to keep track of every detail, but that's where Plod comes in, as this sleek AI-powered note taker has genuinely changed how I work. With just one press, it captures everything, completely hands-free, and then uses advanced AI to turn it into structured summaries, key points, and action items. For me, it's been a game changer. I'll listen to important speeches, like this video interview of Professor Jeffrey Sachs, and instead of frantically taking notes, Plod captures it all and creates an organized summary I can refer back to when scripting these videos. And when I need to find something fast, I just use Ask AI. For example, I can ask, why did Jeffrey Sachs say the world is now more unstable? And Plot will find the answer in seconds across all my saved notes. With 30 hours of continuous capture, crystal clear audio, even in noisy environments, and a compact design, this is more than just a clever gadget. It's like having a second brain. The data is stored securely on the hardware and synced with AWS cloud services, with HIPAA and SOC2 certifications, which guarantees that your data won't be sold and also alleviates concerns about battery or storage issues when using your phone. Honestly, whether you're a student, a business professional, or someone who just hates taking notes, Plod is going to change how you work, and I'm so happy I can partner with them. Simply use my discount code CYRUS22 at checkout to save on your Plod device today. Check the links down below for all the details. But now, let's get back to our story about GPS, which has become an essential part of our daily lives. While it may seem like a universal resource available to everyone, the truth is that GPS is actually a privilege and one that can be revoked at any time. You may never have thought about who controls it, but this technology was developed and is still operated by the United States military. This means the US military has the ultimate authority over how and when this technology is used. And GPS isn't just for apps you rely on every day. It plays a vital role in industries like agriculture, shipping, and of course, military operations. Without global positioning, large-scale crop production wouldn't be possible. Ships couldn't navigate to ports, and missiles couldn't hit their targets. As you can imagine, the entity controlling this technology holds immense leverage over the countries that depend on it. This grants the US government significant power, and theoretically, even the slightest disruption to GPS could have devastating, far-reaching consequences. For China, this isn't just a theoretical risk. They understand all too well the dangers of depending on a system controlled by a foreign power and the vulnerabilities that come with it. In 1993, the United States government received intelligence that the China-based container ship Yinhe, or Milky Way, was supposedly carrying chemical weapons to Iran. As a result of this accusation, the Chinese ship found that their GPS was jammed 
and in turn lost all control to navigate. The United States Navy forced the surrounding Middle Eastern countries to refuse docking rights to the Chinese ship, leaving it stranded on the international waters of the Indian Ocean for 24 days. Eventually, a joint Saudi-United States team inspected the ship's cargo and concluded that the ship did not contain any chemical weapons and declared it free to go. China denounced the World Cup behavior by the United States and demanded compensation for the disruption of its ocean commerce. But the United States government arrogantly stated that there would be no apology, saying the United States had acted in good faith on intelligence from multiple sources. This abuse of power was a massive wake-up call. China realized that ships can be tracked, jammed, or cut off at will at the whim of the United States. And it was after this international incident that China officially decided to start working on its own satellite program, Beidou, named after the Big Dipper constellation. But China didn't just build an alternative to GPS. They built something better. Beidou operates with over 50 satellites, compared to GPS's 31, giving it a denser and more modern network. Fully completed in 2020, this constellation running on modern technology makes Beidou faster, more stable, and less prone to outages. In fact, it already outperforms GPS in 165 countries worldwide, primarily across Africa, Asia, and Latin America. While China is running a next-generation system, the US is still relying on Cold War era technology, with major GPS upgrades not expected until the mid-2030s. Beidou also beats GPS in precision. Civilian users can expect accuracy within 1 to 2 meters, compared to GPS's 3 to 5 meters. And when paired with China's ground-based positioning stations, Beidou can reach down to decimeter or even centimeter level accuracy. On top of that, Beidou includes short message communication capabilities, allowing text messaging in remote areas, wartime scenarios, and natural disasters, a capability that GPS simply doesn't offer. With these immense advantages, it's no surprise that countries and corporations are switching over to Beidou in droves. The Chinese satellite navigation sector billed nearly $80 billion in 2024, a growth of 7.4% compared to last year, and is now clocking over 1 trillion location requests every single day. Analysts have described the shift from America's GPS to China's Beidou as a declaration of independence from the West. And it's easy to see why. During the 12-day war between Israel and Iran last month, platforms like WhatsApp and Instagram leaked real-time locations of users in the country, creating a digital trail. Israel then used this data to target Iranian government officials, military officers, and scientists with precise drone and missile strikes. This demonstrated to the world that as long as you're using GPS, there's a literal target on your back. But it's not just Iran who is shifting away from the United States. This past week, Spain shocked the world when it announced China's Huawei was given contracts to manage intelligence agency wiretaps. Skeptics online have blasted the Spanish government and criticized their move to trust a Chinese company for digital security. But it's a powerful statement from the Spanish government who essentially say, we trust China and their networks more than U.S. systems, who will inevitably share our data with the CIA. Even the U.S.'s closest ally and trading partner, Canada, is changing their tune. This article was just published in the Globe and Mail. Let's free ourselves from the U.S. and forge closer ties with China. It would have been unthinkable for Canada to publish such an article just a few years ago, but things change quickly. The world doesn't have to look far to see the benefits of achieving strategic independence from the U.S. government. And one of the best examples to study is China's Great Firewall. By limiting Western tech access early on, China was able to build its own social media platforms and become fully self-reliant in the digital space. This move not only protected China from negative Western media narratives by maintaining control over its information ecosystem, it also delivered major economic benefits through the growth of a powerful domestic tech industry. In contrast, Europe remains heavily dependent on infrastructure run by US tech giants like Facebook and Google, leaving much of the continent's digital sovereignty in the United States' hands. As a result, China maintains its independence, while the EU functions as a vassal state to the US government. Much like BRICS, the Belt and Road Initiative, and the movement towards de-dollarization, China's satellite technology primarily serves the interest of the global south, and in turn, the global majority. Of the 165 countries where Beidou outperforms GPS, most are located in Africa, Latin America, and the broader global south. These countries were long neglected 
and underdeveloped by the West. But Beidou offers these nations an alternative opportunity to work as equal partners, something they were never given by the West. In Africa, over 30 nations have set up ground-based support stations to aid precision agriculture, water management, and meteorological services. This has allowed African farmers to massively increase farming yields and avoid the effects of climate change. In Latin America, ports like Chansey in Peru have integrated Beidou into their smart navigation systems. In Asia and the Middle East, China's satellite network strengthens transportation and logistics in regions where the U.S. coverage is weak. The West's disregard for these countries left them ripe for China's intervention, filling the gap the West ignored. This is precisely the logic behind why programs like China's Belt and Road have been so successful. Over 150 countries have joined, but more importantly, China's reputation on the global stage is now higher than that of the United States. According to a recent study by the Alliance of Democracies, 79% of the world now has a better opinion of China than the US. This reflects a massive shift in global perception. Citizens of the global majority of nations can see the benefits that China has brought to their countries with their own eyes, while America largely coasts on its soft power that is rapidly deteriorating with the Trump's administration bullying and global tariff war. Iran has long been excluded from the American-led economic system due to suffocating sanctions, which have isolated it for decades. And with the recent weaponization of GPS against Iran during this conflict, the decision to shut down GPS was almost inevitable. They literally had nothing to lose. With a powerful new alternative emerging from China, countries are increasingly weighing the options of defying the United States, as the consequences of being cut off from the US-dominated system are actually becoming less severe. The US is no longer the primary engine driving economic and technological growth. That role now belongs to China. As a result, many nations are placing their trust in China, certain that its technology will shape the future and redefine the global landscape. Once again, this is the exact move we saw from the Spanish government and why they are trusting Chinese tech over the American equivalent. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's deep dive into this new Chinese satellite system, but more importantly, the quickly changing dynamics in our global economy. Once again, I wanna thank Plaud for sponsoring today's video. I absolutely love this AI note taker and make sure that you use my discount code CYRUS22 to save today. Links are down in the description. Once again, thank you all for your incredible support and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video soon.